Oh, my son. <laughs> There's nothing but void in this home since you left me alone. Hey, you have to come back home. You have to come back home, my son. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I will not accept anybody else. I'm not going to accept that girl as my daughter-in-law. Mother, you have no choice but to accept her as your daughter-in-law because Sonia is the one I will spend the rest of my life with. I don't understand you. I mean, how on earth would you be rooting for a very ugly, gold-digging girl over a very beautiful, sweet girl from a rich, reputable family? God, a million men will kill themselves to have a girl like Raquel. With all due respect, mother, I will not stand here and watch you Refer to my fiancé as gold digger. Sonia is my woman, and she is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Let me ask you, do you know what Raquel did to me? Huh? Did you know? What? The girl you're rooting for cheated on me with my staff, and you want me to marry her. You want me to spend the rest of my life with her. Is oh, that fair? Please, don't be so unforgiving. She apologized. You don't know Nobody this. Nobody is, is perfect. Mother, you don't know this lady in question. That girl is not only a cheat, but a liar. Yes, if I forgive her and accept her back, she will do what she did over and over again. How do you know that? Anyway, I don't even want to argue over this. You are marrying nobody else but Raquel because I won't accept anybody else. And I will not marry her. Sonia is the one I will and must marry. Excuse me. Are you? Are you walking around and I'm still talking? Jerry! What gumption? Who is that? What? I am Jerry's girlfriend. Now you leave my boyfriend alone. Uh, uh, babe, really? Go inside here, okay? I will talk to you. Yes, really. And you, listen. What? You have to go. I will, I will talk to you later, okay? Go. Stay away. Stop embarrassing me. Stop it. Jerry. Just go, go, go. Okay. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Think out. What's the problem? What is it? Why are you crying? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, sit down. Sit down, sit down, darling. What happened? I saw them. You saw them? You saw who? I saw them and they were all loved up. <laughs> who was it? Who did you see? Jerry. I saw Jerry and Sonia. Oh, I still cannot believe that Jerry left me for that cheap slot. Sweetheart, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to call him and invite him to come over. You are going to be my daughter, you know. Don't, don't even worry yourself. I will invite him over, all right? Boma! Boma! <laughs> okay. So what are you talking about? Like how much are we looking at here? Really? Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. You see, I want everything to be ready by tomorrow. Yes. Of course. 
I don't joke. I don't joke with my business. Alright. Everybody, if you have to go to Onichari, you go. This is business we're talking about. We are, we are losing money. Alright. Um, let me call you. My love, what is it? Is that a problem? This song, you're quiet. Baby. Keep pretending like you don't know what you're doing. Babe. Wait a minute. Is this about the incident that happened at the mall today? Babe, seriously speaking, I had no idea that I would meet her there today. She's my ex. Okay? I have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with her. She cheated on me with my staff. I never knew they were dating. And then you told her you would see her again. Really, Jen? No problem. I told her that because I want to clear the air. I want to make her understand that I have moved on with my life. I can't have anything to do with that cheat again. Come on, baby. Is that it? Of course. It is you I love. Huh? It is you I cherish. Of course. Of course. I love you so much. You know I can't do without you, right? You brighten my world. You give me peace of mind. I love you. Thank you. I'm just afraid of losing you. I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me. I am going nowhere, okay? I will stick by you forever. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay? Sweetheart. Mm. 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 You have the softest lips in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. It's not a problem, babe. Really, it's not a problem. You don't get it, do you? Huh? What? Listen, it is over between us, okay? I can't have anything to do with you again. And please, stop prognosing in my relationship with Sonia. Stop messing around with my mother. Stop pretending that you're a good girl. You and I know that you are unrepentant. Stop it. Cherry. Cherry, this words are harsh on me. Look, I have changed. And give me the chance to show you that I've changed. You've changed? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I thought you were cool with this breakup. So why the sudden change of heart? Because I got to realize that my life is meaningless without you. I love you so much, Jerry. I really do love you. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Please. Okay? It is over between us. And I have a relationship and I'm cool with it. I don't love you anymore. I have moved on with my life, so you have to move on with your life. Okay? Um, that is why I, I came here to tell you. Because I want you to stop calling me, okay? It's Jerry, over. how am I supposed to live without you, Jerry? Now listen, one more thing. Do not ever call my phone again. And don't ever come to my house. Move on with your life. Jerry! Oh, mother. Reasons, man. I'm so tired. Why are you hurting Raquel? Why are you hurting her? 
She hasn't done anything to you but love you. Why? Mother, I don't understand. Why are we still having this same conversation again? That girl doesn't love me. She does not love me. And I don't love her either. If she has been feeding you with lies, then she must be up to something. So because she did something wrong, she cheated. So you cannot forgive. Is cheating an unforgivable sin? Really? I should forgive her? Huh? Someone that cheated on me. Someone that cheated on me with my staff. Joe to be precise. And both of them connived to steal from me. That is a lie. It's a lie. Uh-uh, Jerry. Why would you tell that kind of lie on this girl? Eh? Must you lie that kind of big lie on her because you don't want to marry her? What? The Raquel I know can never do all these things that you are saying. Wait. Mother, can I ask you the right question? Mm -hmm. uh, did you cheat on that? Oh, come on. Don't even go there. Don't change the topic. So, why are you glorifying cheating? How? Because I want you to forgive her. How is that glorifying? Wait, have you looked at yourself in the mirror to see how very handsome you look? Just a carbon copy of your father, my darling husband. The man I fell in love with when I was 20. And you want to end up with one old hag, haggard woman? She's not old, okay? And I cannot marry Raquel over my dead body. I can never marry her. Sonia is the one for me. Uh, before I forget, I'm planning on proposing to her. Yes, to Sonia. Oh my God. So the earlier you accept her as your daughter-in-law, the better for us. Excuse never. me. Never. Never. I will never accept her. Never. I wanted to breathe as well. I wanted peace, yeah. But all alone. I be to love na something where me no fit do. Mama, mama, I be to love na cry. I be to love na something where me no fit do. Yeah, everything I want na choice. Everything I want na love. The one my heart beats for. But all eluded me, everything I want is not love, everything I want is not choice, but not my heart beats for, but all eluded me, I be to love not crying, I be to love not something where me no fit to, mama. To love na something where me no fit to me no fit to mama I be to love na crime I be to love na something that me I no fit to me I wanted to live and to love the one my heart beats for. Let's go. Jerry. Jerry, please. Please. I'm still begging. Please, don't go. Why do you want to leave the house just like that? If you go, the whole world will crash on me and I'm probably going to die of heart attack. Mother, you will not die. And I will not die either. You see? The earlier you realize that Sonia is the one for me, the better for you. But you are wrong, Jerry. Raquel is the right woman for you. Raquel is beautiful. She's, 
She's always been the right woman. Can't you see? Mother, you are wrong. Yes, you are wrong. Sonia is the only woman for me, and she is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And that is final. You're beautiful, but you can't keep investing in love or investing in someone that doesn't love you. I don't love you, and I can't lie about it. Mother, I have to go now. Or if you decide to change your mind and accept her as your daughter-in-law, you call me. Son, please. Baby, let's go. I beg you, son. Please don't go. I have to go, mom. Please, sweetheart, please. So, let's go. Jerry, don't go. Sorry. Madam, how may I help you? My name is Mrs. Dolly Briggs. I am Jerry's mother. Oh, Jerry's mother. I'm sorry, please. Can you please sit down? No. What can I offer you? Thank you, but I'll rather stand. It's okay. I just came to tell you to please tell your daughter to leave my son alone. My son is engaged to someone else. Someone he really loves. But no but. Hmm? Just do as I have said. Or else you and your daughter will feel my rot. And I tell you, my rot is very bad. dream is this? Oh, Jerry. Let me call Jerry. Ah, my phone is dead. Why is this girl dragging my son with me in my dream? Is she trying to take my son from me? No, she cannot. I have to go. I cannot. What is it? What is it? Someone called me. Same is a doctor from the general hospital. He he said he had been trying to reach your phone, but it's not going through. So he he got my number from Uncle Jerry's phone. And what? He he said I should tell you this with caution to to avoid you spiking your BP. 
Would you shut up and tell me what it is? What, what BP? Uncle Jerry was insulting. Uncle Jerry, what? Me. Me fatal accident. Somebody, please help me tell my son Jerry to come back. Because this house is just too lonely. Hey, this house is too lonely without my son. be here by myself without my beloved son. Ah, Dolly, you're here already. Where is your daughter? Where is that your daughter that is a murderer? I beg your pardon? Your daughter my son. What are you talking about? I want my son to stay away from your daughter because I knew your daughter would kill him. If you to listen to me now, where is he? He's dead. Your daughter has killed him. I think there's a mix up here. <laughs> there is no mix up. There's a mix up. Please, 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 don't take off your hand. Don't, don't you dare touch my clothes with your filthy hands. Your daughter is a murderer. She let her cook. My daughter is not a killer. Officer. This is the murder. Mrs. Sonia, we are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Jerry. You have every right to remain silent. Whatever you say, shall be used against you in court of law. I am more. I'm innocent. I It should have been you. It should have been you, Raquel, that my son got engaged to. But no, he went for that, that ugly witch who finally took his life. I have always loved Jerry. And I still do. Even though he never acknowledges it. 
Oh, what can I do, mom? Guess it's fate. <laughs> it really hurts me. That girl, Sonia, huh? she is going to pay. And she will pay with interest for killing my son. Just what? Just what? I see. Mom, mom. What I will do to her. Mom, it's okay, I please. I will oh, Stop. You know I don't like to see you like this. And then your blood pressure will go high. Please, your medications, please. Thank you, darling. You are such an angel. Why couldn't my mom son say that? Talking. You you have the blood pressure. Okay. to die. I never wanted to lose you. But this is what you get for betraying me. This is what you deserve for making me an option. For trying to use this thing over me. She killed you. Oh, that is what I think. Atrico, <sighs> what is that? Are you alright? I thought I heard the noise. Oh. It slipped off my hand. <laughs> I miss Jerry so much. I miss him so much. <laughs> okay, I'll clean it up. I'm coming. Yes, you should. Stated since I heard the news about Jerry. I had to rush down here. I had to travel immediately to check on you. How are you? Thank you for coming. <sighs> the walls of this house will always be empty without my darling son. <sighs> mm. Mm. Mama, it's okay. And this is all because of that conniving, ugly witch. She has to pay for it. It really beats me. And Sonia loved him. I, I don't get it. I still have you understood. Why would she jump? out of a moving vehicle to save herself in order to kill Jerry. I mean, she could have died in the process herself. She is not dead. She's alive. 
and you, you owe it to my son, your best friend, to bring his killer to book. You are a good lawyer, Enzo, and you owe it to your friend. Look at me, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hazel, you have to wait in and make her pay. Because that is the only time that my heart can find peace and closure. Please, my son. I am going to do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best. Ensure that the perpetrator is brought to book and put behind bars. And if indeed it was Sonia, then she has to do her time. It was Sonia. Oh, Mama, you need to calm down. I think you need Nobody to rest. Nobody else. Mama, please rest. Right now, you just need to rest, please. It's okay. Please lie down, lie down. Take, take some sleep. Should I get you water, tea? No, I'm fine. I'm going to be right outside. If you need me, just call for me. Okay. <sighs> Waiting for you. For what? Enzo. I know that you're back to teach the mother a lesson. Sonia, I mean. Uh, I think Sonia is innocent. She's equally a victim. Uh, I, it still baffles me how she would have wanted to kill him while she was still in the car. Doesn't work. Doesn't add up. And so you cannot be too sure about that. What do you mean I can't be too sure about that? I mean, it couldn't have been in her interest to have wanted to kill Jerry. Sonia did it to get back at me. I'm expecting Jerry's child. Yes, and she knows. Sonia knows that I'm pregnant. I'm expecting Jerry's child, so I'm sure she killed Jerry to get back at me. Jerry left you because you slept with Joe. You chose to sleep with Joe. He loves Sonia wholeheartedly. And so that happened a long time ago. Jerry and I got along. He forgave me. We were cool with each other. Chill, chill, listen. We were cool with each other. Jerry said he was with Sonia because he felt pity for her and that he really does love me. We were planning to get married, but unfortunately, he's no more. I don't believe that. <laughs> no. There is no. I will believe your words. You, you can be here finding me another room. Enzo, what is wrong with you exactly? Do you subconsciously feel happy for the death of your best friend? Excuse you? Yeah, because that's what it seemed like. Oh, are you in love with your best friend's killer? Which? I won't let you provoke. 
I will not allow you to provoke me. I'll find myself another room. Excuse me, I'm not supposed to laugh, but this is actually funny. So, Sonia, this is how you ended up. Really? And you, Sonia, will look at me when I talk to you. Jerry, don't you dare ignore me when I speak. You have to stay away from that stupid and insignificant fool. Now you listen, and listen real good. Mind the form of insult you use on her. I will not take any insult from you to her again. Am I understood? Excuse you? You are the one insulting me by trading me for that useless thing. That imbecile, what has come over you, Jerry? Because it is my life, and I choose to do whatever I want to do with it. Shut up! You don't talk to me like that, Jerry. What is wrong with you? You slapped me. Now you listen. You will not call off our engagement. You hear me? Jerry. 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 This minute. Ah! Jerry. It is over my dead body for you to marry that girl. If you like, go. Mom. Mom, why are you not doing anything? Do something! It's okay, sweetheart. Just calm down, okay? I'll do something. And I swear... I swear to make your life miserable. I swear to seize every air that you're breathing. But never did I know that God had a better plans for you. Nature did all my works for me. Nature, huh? Did you ever tell Mrs. Dolly Briggs this nature story of yours? Because it seems to me that there is more to it than it's the eye. Impressive. You're very stupid. And you know what, Sonia? The earlier that you realize that you were done for, the better for you. Those are lies you keep telling yourself. No problems. You keep believing those lies. I won't banter words with you. I will never stoop that low. Of course, I do not expect you to stoop low. You know, I came to give you good news. I am expecting Jerry's child. So why you thought that you both were all acting all loved up? Behind closed doors, I got him any time that I wanted. That is your problem, not mine. That is if that thing you claim you're carrying truly belongs to Jerry. Damn! Damn, girl! I mean, coming from someone who has been pinned to so many men, I am not surprised that you will think in such a degraded way. But how can you even compare yourself with me? That is disgusting. The truth will come out soon. Raquel, I promise you, the truth will come out very soon. What the truth? How and what truth? Because from now, henceforth, your life will continue to get worse. You and Jerry will pay for me. Every pain that you have made will pass through. You and Jerry will pay for making me an option, and you especially will pay for making Jerry treat me like garbage. Even if I have to move mountains, even if I have to go through mass, I, Raquel, will make sure of it. Mark my words.
What are you doing here? Just reminiscing, my friend. That's all. Uh, I'm missing. And why are you always tensed when in my presence? Tensed? Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. Look, I'm going to go over to the visitor's room, okay? Hold on. You see, I have a dream. And in that dream, Jerry told me that you will be the one to get justice for his death. And then again he said that the name of his killer is Sonia. Mm -hmm. Look, Raquel. You cannot manipulate me into believing your insubstantial lies. Now, stay. Enzo, what is wrong? Why, why is your, that's not true. You have been friends with Jerry since you were kids, both of you. So I know when there is something wrong. Spill it already. Okay, yeah, there, there is something, something wrong. And what could that be, Enzo? Right. You've been quite edgy recently. Do you mind to share? What's wrong? Well, yes, I am edgy. I have not been able to find find my friend killer. I'm apprehensive about all of this. I will continue to be edgy. Come on, Enzo. You've already found the killer. It's the girl. She killed him. Ah, listen, this case is coming up in court very, very soon. You have to defend your friend against her in court. So you need to be ready. Enzo, listen. I don't know what's wrong with you, what's going on with you, but you need to know this. Sonia, Killed Jerry. Exactly. I mean, ever since she came to this house, I mean, this house has never remained the same. Mm -hmm. And look, you as Jerry's best friend is to take justice for his death. If you cannot do that, then we'll have to get another lawyer. And that will be on your conscience. I don't have anything to work with. I don't have proof. No evidence. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, what, what, what is wrong with him? Eh? What is wrong with him? Enzo, I think. Enzo is in love 
will soon hear. What? <gasps> Your son's best friend is in love with your son's mother. Hmm? Excuse me, Ma. It is time to take your medication. Uh, Boma, this is not the right time for that. Don't worry. I'll give her her medication. Bantirakwe, hey, go. You heard her. Oh my god. This is not the end of it. Okay? You will get out of here. I mean, how is that even possible? How am I going to get out of this place? She was here yesterday. She was here and smiling in victory. You mean to say the shit devil was here yesterday? Mom, she said so many horrible things to me and there was nothing I could do about it. She said I would rot in jail. Her words should mean nothing to you, son. Okay? Mommy, everyone believes I killed Jerry. Everyone thinks I killed the man that I love, my fiancé. Maybe, just, just, maybe I, maybe I should have left him when I found out she was interested in him. Sonia, Jerry may be gone, but his memories linger on. And the best memory is the one you shared with him. She may say whatever thing she likes. But she will never have the last love. Never. I say never. I may not be a rich woman. But all I know is that truth will surely prevail. Okay? <laughs> That auntie is not a good person. Yes, she's not a good person. I think she's up to something. I have to tell Madame to be very careful with her. Or else, don't. I think you to me. Else what? Else. I wasn't talking about you, I swear. I wasn't talking about you. Okay. Excuse me. Listen. Listen. I am expecting Mrs. Briggs' grandson, who in turn will take place of her late son to whatever I do or say in this house. Stands. I dare you, I dare you to go about fabricating lies about me and watch me make your life miserable. Get lost. Get out. I feel so neglected. She feels that everyone has turned against her. Oh, I wish there was something I could do. My daughter is innocent. She's innocent. Mama, you need to calm down. Just try and calm down. I know you're in a very tough situation. But don't get overworked. It's for me, I am also gravitating to the fact that she is innocent. Because it beats me still how 
a normal thinking person will jump out of a moving vehicle to save their own life so another person gets killed? I mean, that is a risky thing to do. It just doesn't make sense. Who will believe us? Who will believe that that is the truth? And she might be wrongly judged and taken to prison. Well, if she gets a good lawyer, everything will work out well. What did you say? I am willing and ready to do all that I can to ensure that the truth comes out. You will? You will do all that for us? Yes. You will go against Mrs. Briggs? Well, Mrs. Briggs. Mrs. Briggs has been a mother to me. Yeah. A mother I never had. And I've known her practically all my life. Her son was my best friend. Oh, yeah. Childhood friend, we grew up together. Yeah. Having said that, it doesn't mean that I have to go against the ethics of my work, my profession. I cannot and will not watch an innocent girl, or anyone for that matter, pay for a crime they didn't commit. <clears throat> so I'm going to make sure that I prove to the court that Jerry's death was accident, that it was not premeditated and it was not a murder. Hey, thank you so much, Enzo. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, welcome. Good. Ah, good, my daughter is innocent. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Sonia. And nothing can stop it except that. Oh, please, don't talk about death that way. It scares me to hear you talk about it. Why are you here? Are you here to accuse me too? Are you here to prosecute me? For killing your best friend, my fiance? 
What exactly are you doing here? Sonia. I know how much you two were in love. <laughs> I know how much you loved Jerry and Jerry loved you <laughs> with everything he had. I was even a little envious of your love story. And I know this situation has made you very desolate without him. But I want you to know that I trust you. And I believe you. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. They just brought light into my dark world. Thank you so much. I have good news for you, though. Right here lies a document that says you've been granted bail. That means you can go home whilst the case is being investigated. What did you just say? You can go home. How come? It's because I trust you. <laughs> and I worked it out. <laughs> it's okay. to me lately, I don't know. Oh, come on now. It's understandable. I mean, you've been grieving, so maybe you just... Oh, maybe. oh, maybe you should shut the fuck up and stop getting yourself involved in family matters. Listen, you were just a house help and you're expected to speak when you're asked to. Understood? Sorry, ma. Sorry for your disgusting self. Mm. Um, Mom, can we... Go to the lawyer now so he can sign the document. Wait, let me wait. Hello? What, what are you saying? You, you say what? Mom, what's wrong? What's going on? Talk to me. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mom? What's what, what, what's going on? Enzo has betrayed us. What do you mean Enzo has betrayed us? Enzo has, has freed her. She has been freed. Around free. Hey, listen, Mom, look at Somebody me. Somebody needs to pay for the death of my son. Look at me, look at me. Calm down. Look at me. Someone will pay. I swear on your son's grave and his child I'm expecting. I will make sure that that girl pays for every pain that she has made you pass through. Yes, someone needs to pay. Someone just needs to pay. No, 
My son cannot just die for nothing! Oh, oh my god! Enzo is a demon! Oh my god! This Mommy, it's me! No, sir. Thank you so, so much. Welcome. Please, I will allow both of you to have a word while I go inside and fix some things. Okay. Yeah. Um, Enzo, I thank you so much, Enzo. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I know it must have cost you a lot to make sure that I was released. But I just want to know why. It's, it's something Jerry would have wanted. He would have wanted the truth to be unveiled. And that's exactly what I did. I'm sure Mrs. Dolly must be furious right now. <laughs> uh, perhaps, maybe not. But it doesn't matter. For me, what is important is you didn't come in crying and you've been proven innocent and you're free. That's what is important. That's what matters. So make sure you get some rest, okay? I will. Thank you so much. Just that... Uh, I'm so scared. What are you scared of? You don't have to be scared. Look, I am here. If you need any consultancy, any advice, guidance whatsoever, call on me. I'm available. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So... Come get some rest, all right? I will. Okay, then. Later, um, say bye to my Think a little clearer. Sonia is equally a victim. She despondent Don't about this situation. She's in agony. Don't you dare talk to me about that murderer because you love her. Hmm? I beg your pardon. You connived with that lowlife -like good for nothing to kill my son so that you can become the lowlife -like lover. Why would you accuse me of such revolting behavior? That's impossible. Enzo, you are evil. Ma, really? Enzo! Mm. Joe, can you hear me? Look, look, look. Everything is getting out of hand. I feel like I'm losing control. I want her destroyed. Look. Joe, I'm talking about millions of naira. See, Mrs. Briggs already believes that I'm expecting her grandchild. So all I need for her to do is to just sign the freaking document so everything is mine. Yes. Look, I have a problem. That, um, that lawyer guy, Enzo. Yes, 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 Enzo, Enzo. I need him out of the way. That guy is getting on my nerves. You need to do something. Oh, God. Who's there? 
Who's that? Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. She's she's getting a heart attack. What's wrong? Mama, she's What's getting wrong? a heart attack. She's getting a heart attack. What have you done to her? I need to take her to. You will not take her anywhere. As a matter of fact, you do not belong here. Look, I'm taking her to the hospital. Mom. Mom. Auntie Rocco, what? Shut up! How many times have I told you not to speak if you're no asshole? Are you mad? The next time you lay your hands on her again, you will have me to deal with. Okay? You will deal with me. Mom, excuse me. Mom? Tell me! Mom! Open the door. says she should sleep, she should rest. And who do you think you are really? I mean, how dare you try to stop me from going to take care of the grandmother of my born child? What is wrong with you, Enzo? I won't let you go in there. Then try to stop me. Stop. Don't touch me. Listen, stop it before I hurt you. You, you regret messing with me. Is that it? Threat, right? Of course, I'm a threat to you. Yes, I am a threat to you. That's why you go about town telling all sorts of lies in my name. There are no lies. You have failed. There are no lies because Jerry was mine. Jerry was mine until you came and took life out of him. It is all your fault that Jerry's dead. It wasn't my fault that 
Jerry died. Yes, it wasn't my fault. It is your fault for doing it. It wasn't my fault that Jerry died. And I don't even care, okay? You can go ahead and think whatever you want to think. Rubbish. Your mouth stinks. Oh, please get out. You know what I think? I think that you should have been dead instead of Jerry. Yes. Newsflash. I am alive. Hell and hearty. I did not die. Ooh, it was your plan, right? To kill one of us. I didn't die. And we'll see about this. The blind do not see. What are you doing here talking to death and looking pop at the strike? Shenanigans. I'm out of this disgusting house. Oh, this is not a house! Leave you house. guys are living in a pothole! Get not a house! Get to the house. Get out! Get out! are going to pay for treating me like garbage. You don't know what's coming for you. You wouldn't know what hit you. I am a ticking time bomb. That is what I am. Don't leave me, Jerry. You won't dare leave me because you do not know what I'm capable of doing. I am capable of killing and even more. I think Crackwell is vengeful. She almost stabbed me once when I threatened to leave her. But where is everybody? Why is Raquel not picking her calls? Boma? Boma!
You scared me. It's okay. I'm sorry. Listen. You told me something earlier, and I quote what you said. Raquel is dangerous. Now, what I want to know is this. What did you hear? What did you see? That made you say that? It's very important that I know. Nothing. I saw nothing. Look, Oma, you need to speak to me. Okay? If there's anybody you can talk to, it's me. I'm the legal mind here. I'm trying to solve the situation. So if you know something, you have to tell me. Alright? Give me something I can work with. If you want me to help the situation. And besides, if I later on find out that you are aiding and abetting a crime, you know what that means? You could serve your time in prison. So if you want me to help you, give me something to work with. Okay? She... She threatened... She threatened to send me back in, back to where I belong. Okay. What else? But I heard... I heard that... You heard what? What did you hear? Tell me. Oh my, you have to tell me. What did you hear? to destroy them once and for all. Um, so what do you intend to do? How? How do you want to go about it? I need suggestions, Joe. Enzo may take me down, and it's you who would help me. Think, Joe, think! <laughs> uh... Joe, I'm talking to you, and you're going to answer me, okay? Because I, I really do not have time. Okay. Um... Oh, good. You startled me. I'm so sorry. The door was open. Listen, there's something interesting. What I found. What's this? Have a look. I'm convinced that Raquel is behind all of this. Why would she do this? Jealousy, bitterness, envy. I think the target was actually you. Or worst case scenario, both of you. So you're saying? So you're saying? Exactly that. Exactly, exactly that. The challenge now is, how do you prove it in court? That's the challenge. God. So, we lost our bricks, which doesn't even add up because I remember Jerry took the car to the mechanic and then he and I went back to the mechanic shop to retrieve the car before we embarked on the journey. Okay, so now that is how come it was easy for her to point at you. Oh no. To 
set off all prime eyes. It was so easy for her. Easy way out. No. Jim didn't have to die. He, didn't, he just didn't have to die like this. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. It's fine. It's all right. You don't have to be sorry. He didn't do anything wrong. I am not trying to ruin our friendship, so. It's it's okay. You're not going to ruin our friendship. I mean, you've been there for me all this while. So it's fine, trust me. Just call me when you notice anything new. Okay, I'm just a call away. Okay, thank you. Thank Get some you. rest. Thank you. Mom, take your medication. Madam! Take what? Madam! Please don't take this pill. Please. I beg your pardon. She's right. She's absolutely right, Mom. But this, this is just my blood pressure medication. Mom, do not take them. You little witch. How dare you insinuate that I'm trying to poison my own mother in law? Did anybody say anything to insinuate that? No one said that. Mom. She is the one who has been administering your pills to you since. And now you have a heart problem, a medical problem. I've sent for a doctor to examine those pills immediately. I think you have been poisoning the old lady. Enzo, I understand the fact that you don't like me and I don't care at all. But what I would not take is for you to stand here and accuse me of such evil. What is wrong with you? Do something. If you have nothing to be afraid of, why are you shaking? Why are you panicking? I am not shaking. You are the one boldly saying, rush! Mom, come on. Take your medication. Oh. Ignore them. It's okay. <laughs> Mom! Let's give skip it. Wait, Mom, after... Mom, after all that I have done for you, it takes just one accusation and believe that? Oh. Jeez, Mom. Mom, I am so disappointed. You know <sighs> Jesus, Jesus. Ah, shit, I hate being so. I can't take this. Now this is over. You both will regret accusing me. Enzo. Are you accusing her of such a heinous crime? She's carrying my grandchild. Mom, I doubt there is any child involved here. And even if there is, it's not your sons. I have proof. Uma here is willing to testify in court of everything that she's heard and that she knows. Raquel has been planned to kill you and take everything. And I believe 
that she is the one who masterminded Jerry's death. <gasps> That's sad. <gasps> She's been poisoning you with these pills. Shit! 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 Damn! Damn! The fig on me out. The fig on me out. Oh God! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? God! What do I do? This place. I have to leave this place. Oh, damn. You will always find peace in my arms, baby. I swear, nothing can separate us. Oh, I love you, Jerry. I love you so, so much. Look, are you having feelings for him already? For who? Of course, you know who I'm talking about. I don't know. Enzo is a good man. Although, he was Jerry's best friend. But, maybe God is bringing him into your life. <laughs> no, please. I don't have feelings for Enzo is Jerry that I love and still love. I, I still feel him every minute in my heart. Maybe God is bringing Enzo into your life to fill the void Jerry left in your heart. I mean, the only person in my heart is Jerry. It's just unfortunate. It's okay. It's okay, dear. This is the second time this phone is beeping. It's a message from Enzo. Sonia, you have to come over. We need to see. I have found out the truth about Jerry's death. And you are, you are amazed what I have to show you. I'm looking for you. I'm for that family. Oh my God. I'm looking for you. I'm for that family. What is that? What is that? Mommy, I have to see Enzo. He said it's very urgent. Why are you so much Mommy, in a hurry? He said it's urgent. I need to see him now. Yeah, madam. You have an ingesting substance that increases your blood pressure and hard on your vessels. And that has uh, deteriorated your heart condition. Well, 
we will find out some time. So I'll advise you put your eyes on your blood pressure pills. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I believe I have to take my leave. See you some other time. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you very much, Doctor. Is, is, is that possible? Is, is this? That's it. Farewell. I hope your drugs make you feel better. So, Mom, you need to sign. Thick. Let me do it later. Maybe tired right now. Mom, you just took your drugs. I'm sure that you feel better. Just sign. It's not going to take time. Let me just lie down a bit. Maybe later. Let me just. I need to just stretch a bit. Ah, just a bit tired. M Mom, it's important. I know, darling. So is my health important? Let me just rest a bit. Yes. Yes, it's. It's not urgent. Your health comes first. Thank you. Is this true? Man, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Seth. This is exactly what I told you. I'm trying to explain that. Is she trying to kill me to inherit my wealth or... Why would she want to kill me? I, I think I need to ask her myself. I... Madam, I can't find that in, and our bags are no longer there. Did you see my phone on the bed? Your phone? No, it's not there. It's not there. You sure my phone is not on the bed? You just have to keep trying. I think I should call the police. No, ma. We shouldn't call the police. That would not be prudent. Her target is Sonia. And the minute she feels threatened or cornered in any manner, she will sting Sonia and we won't want that. So we should not call the police. So what are you going to do now? I think I know what to do. Uh, ma, please. Nobody leaves the house. What? At least to hear from me. Now I am scared for you. Are you sure we should not just call the police? Please trust me on this. I know what to do. No one leaves the house and no one comes in either. Okay. Bola. Yes, ma. Bring me a glass of water. Okay, ma. Naivin Demon Raquel is. Oh. This is why she was clamoring for me to sign those documents. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare talk to me in any form of disrespect. You hear me? Once I get this money, we are leaving. Come on, dude, I'm talking about 50 million naira. Look, I want to see you and immediately. What do you mean you got a new address? Okay. 50 Palm Avenue close, correct? Yes, see you soon. Ah. What? Raquel. 50 million naira, 50 Palm Avenue Street. Correct. Did you win a lottery? Of course not. Mommy, see, I was just talking about my father's company, the world of his company, mm. before he died. Oh. Unfortunately, he sold the company, so I'm left with nothing. 
And that's so sad. So sorry about that. Sorry about that. Thank you. Take it easy, okay? Hmm? I'll try. I'll try. Mm. I will look for her. My ears are open. What? What was that address again? I will go to that place. I think her ally is there. 50 Palm Avenue. Yes, 50 Palm Avenue. Mm. Ma. Ma. Good evening. I'm so sorry mm. to bother you. Where is Sonia? What do you mean, where is Sonia? Where is she? You sent her a text message that asked her to show up immediately. Oh no, oh no. No, this is, I just knew. Where's my daughter? Ma, one minute. Where's, where is my daughter? You're not talking. Ma, Raquel stole my phone. And she must have sent Sonia that message. Whatever the message was. Please. Please, you have to do something. That girl is unstable. Please, you have to do something now. I understand. Just try and calm down. Calm down. I will find her and I will get her. Please, please. Please, Elisa, do something. Please. Good. From staring the love of my life. Now look at me. Look at me because I want you to remember my face. Say you went to jail. I just had an imagination of how I'm going to kill her. I'll kill her, then call her boyfriend to come see her dead body. Then I'll frame him for her death. Perfect. That low life scumbag will regret ever meeting me. Pick up now. You. What do you mean I bought the bar? I bought the bar. Thank you. 
Joe. I demand answers, Joe. I demand answers as to why you have to make my plans go apart. What is wrong with you? Because you have no idea what I'm trying to protect. If you kill her, all my hands will point at you. Listen, we have to leave here immediately. Rubbish! Stupid nonsense! That is all that you are saying. Rubbish! So I was going to use one stone to kill two birds, but all things to you, that useless girl is running about freely. But you had all the time. You had all the time to kill Mrs. Briggs in our well-planned target. You were rather too slow. I had everything all planned out, Joe. Everything was all planned out. That, 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 that is stupid and do with me disrespectful. So I wanted to take him out first. What is wrong with you? You just, you just messed things up for me. What is wrong with you? You want to understand what I'm thinking. The all for circumstances. Look, we haven't got enough time. If right now, when we go out of this place, we can devise a better plan. Please, a better plan. There is no time. You must be very stupid to think that I, Raquel, will leave this place empty-handed. Listen, I am not leaving anywhere until I'm done taking all I deserve from Mrs. Briggs. And at least that's what I deserve for making me pass through pain. I am going. Raquel, you don't have to disobey me. Stop. Shut up. Shut up, let me think. You know, thinking of past me, Joe, you disgust me. You irritate me. I'm beginning to remember everything right now. You hate that Jared because he sent you of your incompetence and which take over his family property. Oh, shut up. Shut up and shut it up immediately. Look who is talking. If it wasn't my help of getting you pregnant, would you have anything to do with the Briggs family? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would have because I have my way into Mrs. Dolly's house. I have manipulated her enough to leave anything that I want her to believe. So don't, don't, don't even think it's your help at all. Help. Where do you think you're going to? Get your hands off me, you betrayed. Now you listen and listen really good. Don't you ever, I mean ever, raise your filthy hands to me again. You know what? Thanks for I'm no longer under your control. Whoa, you are wrong. You are wrong. You are the one who is wrong about everything going on in your youth, like the north of the brain. You know what? Henceforth, I am no longer under your control, so don't ever call my phone again. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Oh, I shut it for you. Did you just slap me? So. I dare you, I dare you to raise your filthy hands on me again and watch me turn everything against you. Who is my daughter? Mama. Eh? What is that? Jeez, calm down. You have to calm down. I have been trying to reach her, but I have not gotten to her yet. <laughs> It's okay. Mama, please. Mama, please. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, Sonia. 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? You're not hot? I'm hot. Is everything okay? I was in the house with my mom when I got a text message from you, apparently. The test message said I should come to Olaito Avenue. And then, when I got there, I was calling your number, but you weren't picking. So, I got a test message from you, rather, that you're here with me, and I started looking around for you. But I didn't find you. It was Raquel that I saw coming from one spot to just hit me. But she just didn't do it. But I was, I was sure she, she wanted to hurt me. But she didn't do it. Well, 
What is important is that you are fine. Yes, and that you are okay. She was going to hurt me. It was that serious. She was going to hurt me. I see. Just one one minute. Hello? I can't believe Madame is gone. She's not here. And the phones are all switched off. Why would you allow her to go out of the house? I thought I warned you. I just went to the kitchen to drop the plate. When I came back, she was not in the living room. Okay, hang in there. Don't step an inch out of that house. Do you understand me? Okay. Fifty Palm Avenue. Yes, fifty Palm Avenue. So it's true. Uh, I trusted you. So you, 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 you just, you, you took my joy. Oh, why? What did I do wrong? Did I do you any bad thing? You know what? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did it. Father guy. Madam, I do. Um, how much did they pay you for this car where they work? Sometimes 10k, sometimes 15k, depending, depending on the fault. Okay. I want you to help me do something. I will give you 200k. Huh? Yes. 200k? Yes. If you do them, I will transfer 100,000 now, now. So you know, sir, no, the joke. Come and tell you. I want you to tamper with the brakes of this car. Now you give me 200k. 200k. Yes. Consider it done. You go do them. I go do them. No, no, no. Sharpen it. Correct, God. Two hundred. Oh, yeah. Call your account. Man, send hundred. Don't come. to tamper with Jerry's break and use everything. It's true. I did it. You are so evil. Look at how beautiful you are. And you are so evil. I was so blind. God, I have been so blind. I loved you like my daughter. And you took my only son. <laughs> It was because of you. Because of you that my life, my whole life got shattered. You were fired because you deserved it. You deserved it. You couldn't do anything. You were incompetent. What are you talking about? Oh, shut up. Just shut up. Joe and Rake, you are under arrest. Officer, take them out. Get them out! Oh yeah, this way.
This is yummy. Mm. Sonia, I'm really happy you you forgiving me for judging you wrong. <laughs> How did I not see this angel in you? Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine, mommy. Okay, it's not even important anymore. What matters is that everything is calm and settled now. That's so true. <laughs> and Enzo, thank you so much for everything you have done and for being another son that I have. <laughs> that son that I don't have, you have given me a son. Thank you. You're welcome, Ma. I'll always be here. I mean, that's something Jerry would have done for me if it wasn't my case. So I'm going to be here for you whenever you need me. <laughs> Thank you. Enzo is a nice man. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have an announcement. Uh, more like a surprise. You do? Yes. Mm, don't tell me you bought me a car. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. I have too many cars. I don't want a car. Give me something sweeter than a car. Mm -hmm. It's not for you, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> you sure? Um, Sonia? Sonia. <clears throat> um, Sonia. Yes. Um, in front of my mom and my mother in law to be, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, with Jerry's permission. <laughs> I want to propose. <laughs> will you spend the rest of your life with me? Yes, I will. Yes. <laughs> I will, yes, I will. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm all teary already. Oh, oh <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> 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 God, let me see. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Wow. Oh my God. Enzo, you must have spent a fortune on yes. this. Oh my God. Oh, I'm it. I'm bought every million. Oh yes. my God. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 